Malaysians are proud of having a history of making their own way. From independence 61 years ago to a growing economy, from having the tallest building in the world to our own F1 circuit, Malaysia is a bustling country where dreamers don't just hope for their dreams to come true, they make their dreams come true. The opportunities here are endless, and if your ideas are good and you are willing and driven enough to see through, you will succeed. This is the Alliance Bank Abysma Challenge. Welcome to the first episode of the Bismarck Challenge brought to you by Alliance Bank. Over the following weeks, we'll see 12 up-and-coming SMEs go through the paces to see who will win this inaugural challenge. Yes, Frida, these participants will compete in real-world challenges that will test their business skills for a chance to be one of the top three and get their share of a million ringgit. Yes, Lokma, through these six real-world challenges, will test their spirit, their knowledge, their resilience and their ability to work in a team. It's my own brand. So, are you profitable? Do you make money? We made one million sales. I was burning them out. Oh hey, boy, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are called Walaoe, okay? Seriously, I want to learn from you guys. You guys are... Oh, you're so bloody good. So, no, you know, no, no, no. I came here this You are attacking three of us. All the best. Thank you. All the best for innovation. For the first time in the competition's history, the Alliance Bismarck Challenge will be presented as a reality TV series. And deciding the fate of the prospective participants at this stage are Joel Conright, CEO of Alliance Bank, Malik Ali, founder of BFM Radio, and Tansri Liu Ki Sin, chairman of EcoWorld. What we wanted to do with this challenge is to test the participants. These teams were selected because they have either had a solid foundation or an exciting future. Now they need to prove to us that they are what we're looking for. Back in April 2018, the Bismarck Challenge was announced to Malaysians. At the end of June, representatives from Alliance Bank, Eco World, BFM, Astro, as well as the sponsors Visa and Manulife gathered to whittle down from the hundreds to the 40 that will ultimately meet the judges at the first pitch. What we're doing here today is that we're going through all the application that we have received for this year's Bismarck Challenge. What we have is a good representation of the various uh, partners that we have. Narrow, shortlist uh, these entries to the top 40 to be invited to do a pitch, a face-to-face -face pitch to the panel of judges. It's very, very difficult, you know, because a lot of people get into the food business or even the drinks business. Next question is, do you have us to be yeah. We are excited to unearth new business ideas, see new SMEs come to the front, see whether, you know, there's possibilities of even co-branding with them. It definitely feels like a passion project. I would say no. No for me. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's cute. I think we're looking for ideas and innovation that doesn't just serve the needs of, of this market, but potentially trying to see whether there's growth in other markets as well. But also, if there are any ideas that sort of carry the Malaysian flag in a way, in, in some sort of way. Finally, in July, the first day of the Bismarck Challenge begins. At the Bukit Bintang Business Centre, in the heart of Kuala Lumpur, the top 40 gathered over two sessions to pitch their business ideas to the judges. Even 
though participants are here individually, they are representing an entire organization, one that they themselves would have had a hand in building. These SMEs were chosen from a pool of deserving and successful entrepreneurs. And from here, it will be cut down to just the best 12. The top 12 are competing for a chance at winning a share of 1 million ringgit total prizes and the grand prize of 250,000 ringgit. Congratulations to all of you and welcome to the first ever Alliance Bank Bismarck Challenge. You and your fellow participants have survived the first test, standing out from a pool of several hundred other submissions. But you haven't been selected yet, only shortlisted, because from the 40, we will only be picking 12. Now, the real challenge begins. You now have to do your first pitch. Each of you only have eight minutes to wow the main judges with your ideas, as well as take questions. All right then, let's get the ball rolling. Team Joy Design Studio, you're up first. For the rest of you, just sit back, relax, and we'll see you inside. My biggest motivation, uh, be malu. <laughs> Actually, we are one of the biggest in Malaysia. I asked my mom, can I mortgage her house? She said yes. I start the business with uh, 200 ringgit. Just do it. But I'm not very good in studying. During my working era, I feel that it's hard for me to find the furniture. Each of you only have eight minutes to wow the main judges with your ideas as well as take questions. My name is Azrael. I'm from Joy Design Studio. I'm 30 years old. Today I'm going to pitch about my design studio. We're doing a furniture store. Currently we have almost three showrooms in Bangsa, Shah Alam and also Johor Bahru. Hi, good Hi, evening. Hi, good evening, Tan Sri Liu. Hi, Meeting with the Tan Sri Liu from Eco World, Joel, the CEO, and also Malik Ali. I think there's someone that is not easy for you to find out there. I think it's good to see them here and then discuss with them how your business is growing and to see what their advice. I'm doing a furniture store where it's affordable designer living at affordable price. We all started in 2014. I graduated as an architect. After I graduated, I worked in architect firm. During my working era, I feel that it's hard for me to find a furniture. So I got an idea. Uh, how about do a furniture store? Uh, by that idea, I start gathering all my friends, but we have no money. I asked my mom, can I mortgage her house? She said yes, and we all started by then. Take the risk. My mom said, hell no for this. But I was like, yes, I will do it, and I will return back the mortgage house and give me some time to return the mortgage house. When I want to start this furniture store, I asked my brother just one question. Can I open a furniture store? He answered just one simple, but really motivated me so much. Just do it. We also will hurt a designer brand under Joy, which is much more affordable that everyone can have a piece of designer piece in their home. Everyone knows about fashion, but industrial design, no one knows about our local designer. We have really, really good potential. I think I'm in a platform doing a furniture, sales and marketing, so I can help those local designers bring their, their design out there. And ultimately, we would like to fill Joy product in every home in Asia. Uh, you mortgage, we, your mom mortgaged the house? We managed to pay back in one year. Pay back in one year? Yeah. Gosh, you're yeah. lucky. I hope I'll see you, all of you, in our showroom to buy our furniture. Uh, thank you for making our dream one step closer. Okay, well done, Amai. Yeah. Hi, my name is Joseph and I'm from Joby Nut Butter. So uh, I'm 24 this year, so when I started this business, I was 20 years old only.
we produce our own uh, home handmade peanut butter. So it's a team of two right now, me and my partner Debbie. So that is why it's called Joby, Joseph and Debbie. Okay. So we started in 2014. When we just started, uh, actually we weren't called Joby. We were called Walaue. Okay. It means wow peanut butter. Okay. How is it like working with your wife? Uh, is is kind of like good and bad at the same time. Good is. Uh, I wouldn't have the courage to stand in front of you guys. I, I don't talk much, but she's the one who said me, just go, we just try. Uh, the sky is our limit, and we just try every single thing. And then I'm like, okay, let's do it. Uh, so, uh, but sometimes we do crawl, but that's a good thing. We get to know each other as well. My biggest motivation, uh, malu, eh? <laughs> because my biggest motivation is actually my wife, which is my partner right now. So I started this business because um, I fell in love with her. So uh, I wanted to take care of her, but I'm not very good in studying. Very convenient, okay? So we do supply to like retail shop, fruit shops, cafe, restaurant, and so on. You can order this online and you can send even one bottle all around Malaysia and Singapore. Okay, don't need to have very high MOQ. Just one bottle you can deliver. This is a great opportunity. So uh, price and whatnot is, 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 is a bonus, but we came here wanting to learn more how to do business, how to run this operation more smoothly. That is our main goal for now. So what do you expect the three older gentlemen to help you? How? I think you're all young at heart. <laughs> I would really like to learn a lot from you guys because uh, there are things that we youngsters do not know. We youngsters are always like hot hated. We, we can rush, we are very daring, but we don't have that calmness to do important and critical decisions. And that's what I want to learn here as well. Right, good. Well done. Well done, Joe. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Joe. Do you want trying, eh? My name is Brian. I'm Anthony. Hi, I'm Kel. My name is uh, Stephen. The founder of Food Marker Hub. We are from IGL Coatings. I'm from My Weekend Plan. I'm the co-founder of uh, Lab. Okay, no matter what is your age, young and old, all humans are constantly seeking for happiness and excitement in life. Good evening, my name is John Young. Hi, my name is Kelly. And both of us, are two out of five of the founder of Superdope. And what we do is that we are really passionate about creating something new and inspiring to the community. What is Breakout Escape Game? Escape Game is a concept where you'll be locked in a room for about an hour time and your objective is to break out from that room with your team mate. Our target audience are youth, young adults, um, if we are in another country, they are even up to like older person, up to 60 years old. So yeah, people that like to think out of the box or do something different from their usual mundane life. Yeah. We have two outlets in Malaysia. So right the direct revenue of that goes to the Malaysian company? Yes, correct. And then the franchise fee for the others? Uh, we, do, the... We, we are the franchisers, so we franchise out. So yeah. they pay us the initial fees and also the royalty fees. Okay. How big is the market in Malaysia? This... Actually, we are one of the biggest in Malaysia. In worldwide, uh, there are also other competitors that are selling escape games. We figure out that if we really want to do this business, we should come in and pledge and committed to that amount that is needed. Five of us pledged to that amount uh, that is needed to start up the company. So I know we did that. And you have to really filter out what are the things that is needed and the things that are not needed yet. And see what is the priority of the businesses. So. When you franchise it out, the setup of the room, meaning the furniture and the equipment, how do the franchisees procure that? Currently, we work with an uh, external van, uh, vendor, a factory that produces the Finishes. furniture. And then we also have uh, people that will set up the electronic system in, in that furniture itself, and then we ship it over to the country. Good, well done. Well done. Thank you so well much. Done. All the best. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. Quite innovative. Very innovative. Good evening. I'm Amir Fasha. I'm Shahri. My name is uh, Muhammad Nasir Habizar. My name is Farah. From KZK Travel Earth Tours. I'm CEO of uh, Jumpa Kiris Nyambrahat. I'm a founding member of Sis Kindi. And today we'll be representing the Boom Beverage. Last four years, we are car rental business. And right now, we are expand the car rental 
to the car sharing platform. Since Candy is we as a platform, we will make sure all the salesperson to actually respond to online leads within five minutes. Jom Parking is a quick and convenient way to pay parking using smartphones. By having this solution, it's, a, it's easy to use. We can have a universal account. The user can have multiple vehicles and uh, we do have uh, expiry notification and last but not least is a paperless solution. House Boom is a sparkling juice beverage. We have six flavours. Initially we had 20 but we narrowed it down to six due to market research and study. So now our top six flavours is blackcurrant, lemonade, lychee, guava, strawberry and mango. I'm Dalina Binti Tauhid. I'm married with four children. My company is Amisha Rich Number Hat, but our product brand is Weirdora. We're selling hijab accessories using crystal from Swarovski. Welcome. 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 Hi. Hi. Malik. Hi. Hi, Rua. Hi, I'm Joel. Hi, Mr. Hello. Malik. Hi. Please, thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. This is our sample of products answering. I start the business with um, 200 ringgit, but Alhamdulillah, uh, for one year, we make 1 million sales. In one month, I managed to sell 30,000 ringgit. For the first month, I sell the 10 ringgit pin. There are very limited options of hijab accessories brand in the market, which is have high quality to complement with premium hijab brands out there. My biggest motivation is uh, my family, my kids, because um, uh, because uh, previously we are jobless, both husband and wife being laid off. He wants me to resign at the age of 40 and focus on my business. And guess what? I already resigned at before 30. How much do you pay for this franchise? This is my brand. This is your own brand? This is my own brand. My biggest motivation is uh, my family, my kids. Because, um, uh, because uh, previously we are jobless, both husband and wife being laid off. <laughs> After eight years in uh, oil and gas, I resigned to raise my kids. And then after three years, my husband being retrenched. So bought a first job less for one year uh, before we start this business. <laughs> put our all efforts and commitments um, to bring this business until this level. Mm. We start from the capitals of 200 ringgit and in May last year and we managed to hit 30,000 ringgit in, in a month. And we start at home as I am housewife. And with 200 ringgit, we repeat order every single day by box, by pin. Until now, uh, we managed to provide jobs to six employees right now. How you, the first one that you got produced, how did you do that? We have been using Swarovski crystal uh, we put in hijabs before this. And then why don't you put Swarovski into pin? Then we start to looking around at the market. I think even there, there are also some market that selling that pin, but using a different crystal. So from there, we use Swarovski because during that time, Swarovski is an international brand that we know that the quality is good. And then we start to, to buy a pin and we do it ourselves at home during that time. Okay, so you, you actually made your own yeah. at home with glue and the crystal yeah. and just Even my kids eat the crystal. Eat. <laughs> That's very cool, okay. We know the quality is not that good as fine jewelry, so we keep improving it from there until we produce the luxury uh, and premium hijab. 
Okay, thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. All the best, yeah. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me introduce myself. I'm Dylan. I'm Andrew Ngo. My name is Zalika. My name is Johan from Johan Speaking Academy. I'm the Managing Director of ID Teachers Sudan Bahad. We are from Tas Biju Sudan Bahad. I'm running a salad business. We have the air carriage. We have the pest repellent. And also, we have the household cleaning products. We are 100% made of natural ingredients and environmentally friendly. The first brand will be ID T-shirt. The second brand will be Stone & Co. I do T-shirt, it's a customization platform. So if you, see, if you see this, this is the World Cup series that the brand actually curate for. We, we actually have seasonal designs, we have festival designs as well. What we do is we teach kids in public speaking. That's Bijou, we are a fashion retail company. Our office is in Plaza TTDI, Come and Stone. We are also available online at tazbijou.com. My name is Jeannie Kamal. I'm from Impulse Studio. We are an alternative gym for weight and resistance training. It's the most high-tech alternative gym for resistance and weight training. So it can help you to build up muscles, build up your strength and build up your stamina in the very short term. Not everyone has the time to spend in the gym. Even if you have the time and money, you might not even get the result you want because sarcopenia. What is it? It's called getting old. <laughs> so basically, we have been in industries for four years. We already serve more than a thousand people. But the reason why we actually participate in this program is because we also want to validate our product. So I also want to see how much more I can reach out to people to, so that I can help more people. But we have 31 million Malaysians. One person is a combined membership. This product that I have, huge potential because I'm targeting the 99% who doesn't go to the gym. How much do you pay for this franchise? This is my brand. It's your own brand? This is my own brand. But the system comes, comes from Germany, is it? No, the machine is the same as Caterbell. People can buy the machine. The protocol, the IP behind it is mine. The how I take care of my clients is mine. What frequency or what kind of uh, intensity as well as the protocol is mine. And how did you learn that? Because I'm also an ex-body master trainer for Asia. Who wants to be six packs like Tom Cruise at this age, you know what I mean? So how can they go to the gym if they don't have the time spent, you know, because they're trying to look for money, right? And they want to climb their, their corporate world. So this is where we come in future. This is why I want to do this, because I know I can help more. Impulse is touch and go. You don't even have time to, to socialize. Here so today. what do you want to benefit from this alliance competition? Seriously, I want to learn from you guys. You guys are no, crazy. No, you're so bloody good. So no, you no, no. Yeah. I came here this... You are attacking three of us. I'm just saying, Tansi, I walk in today. I saw your people briefing at 9 a.m. The moment I walk in, yeah, I drove a car. The guard actually said like this and showed me the place. I was crazy. I was thinking, I want to do the same to my, uh, to my premises. I want people walk in and want to just straight away buy. But right now, we still have a choice. Like. We don't really push our sales. Uh, our team actually say, you come back after seven days. So when you say your service sucked, or the service sucked no, in we some, suck. we get our franchisees, is it? Or no, no, no. It's all ours. It's all, all design. In the very first two years, first, first year and two years. Because you know why? The gap between me and the employee is 20 years. So it means you were I not able to that. train your employees to give a good level of service. Is that, um, is that the issue? It's not that I train. The word is I'm burning them up. Uh, because I'm, they I'm, are Gen Y and millennial. So I burn them. So it's not their fault, it's my fault. You're burning us too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think, I think, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm it's sorry. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's not it's entirely fun. surprising. <laughs> but I'm here to learn from you guys. Manche Male, you build brands like crazy. Uh, uh, right, thank you so much. Three. Thank you. Oh, Gina. sorry, time's Gini. up. Thank yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thank you so much. All thank you very much. Thank you, you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. All the best to you. Thank you very much, really. Well done, well done. I was just too aggressive to deliver my point. Mm -hmm. And the judge is actually afraid of me. I mean, you've been too aggressive. I'll have to step out. Oh my god. Do they like your business idea? How do I know they were already? You're into the zone. I'm into the zone. Not too proud of myself. Okay, yeah. so not feeling too good. Yeah, not feeling too good. Uh, fingers crossed. Yeah.
our another partner which has been uh, behind the scene for all this while which is Nora Danish. Oh boy, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So my slogan is Appa Bole Joy Joy La. We are targeted to the halal Muslim consumers. My name is Diana. I am one of the co-founder of Almost Wanted, a cosmetics brand uh, proudly made in Malaysia. Can you explain your role, please? Okay, I'm the, I'm the CEO You're of the CEO, company. Okay. Yeah. So basically, I'm in charge on uh, operation and I'm overlooking every okay. thing. Good. Uh, we have actually three partners. Me, uh, my best friend back in university, which is uh, Dr. Aina. Uh, she's a medical doctor and actually she's in charge of the uh, R&D and also product development for Almost Wanted. So basically, um, uh, two years is actually our R&D and we did some market research. And uh, we started off with just only one SKU, one product, which is a uh, foundation. So basically, Almost Wanted Cosmeceuticals is a makeup brand, probably made in Malaysia. Okay, the uniqueness in our products is actually lies in the ingredients and formulations. Uh, this is our famous tagline, it seals and heals. Actually, we have been in the market since 2015, all right? And we have a very strong team behind us. In 2018, early this year, okay, we did a uh, launching and uh, we introduced our, our another partner which has been uh, behind the scene for all this while, which is Nora Danish. Okay, she's an A-list celebrity in Malaysia and she has uh, quite a lot of followers on, his, on her social media. We managed to export products to Singapore, Brunei and also Indonesia. The age of majority is 24 to 40 years old. Actually, this is our target market. Because you've done a lot of work. Mm. A lot of work, your packaging, your branding. Yeah, you because of all of our packaging yeah. are all custom made. You can't see this kind of uh, lip cream in the market. Yeah, it's custom made. So it is halal? Uh, yeah, we have halal sets. I came uh, from a family. I, I mean, my father was a businessman back then, my late father. Uh, he owns a shipbroking company. He always has the spirits, you know, and motivates me every day since I was young. He wants me to resign at the age of 40 and focus on my business. And guess what? I already resigned before 30. I have made him proud of me. How many people work in this company? You guess? I have no idea. Tell me. <laughs> we are very small, uh, only five people. Five people? Yeah. Well, that's very We started impressive. off with just only two of us. Since earlier of this year, January, uh, there's five of us. Okay, thank you so okay, much. Thank you so thank much. You very much. Well done. Okay. Yes, well done. Very good presentation. I think my personal value will be never give up. So I will strive my best, do whatever it takes to win this challenge. Bring it on. Good evening. My name is Stevens. I'm the founder of DeepMind Innovations, a social enterprise. We operate a virtual call center system that is believed to be uh, Malaysia, if not Asia's first virtual call center to be operated entirely by the visually impaired and physically impaired people. My name is Nadia and I am the founder and CEO of Fit Rebel. Fit Rebel is a company which designs and produces active wear and we have a line of leggings called Slurney by Fit Rebel which I believe is uh, the world's most beautiful leggings which were designed to inspire women to work out more often. And you're wearing it. Yes, and this is, yeah, and this is uh, one of the products that I'm wearing. My name is Ivy, this is Michael. This is us, Homegrown Farm Semenye, and we started this five years ago. We started to grow our own food. We grew our food in raised beds using organic soil, and we also grew a lot of our vegetables using the aquaponic system. So we raised fish alongside with um, kale, Swiss chard, spinach, many different kinds of vegetables. My name is Eugene and I'm the co-founder of Carput. We actually 
help people when their car breaks down. And that's what Carport's about. Basically what we are, we are actually an on-demand roadside assistance app. What do we mean by that, actually? We actually do anything from car battery replacements all the way up to towing, you know, petrol, no petrol also, we can actually come and save you, right? I actually started with me as a marketer, my handphone, and uh, I go down and do the job. Law. Most people will always tell me that I'm very passionate, and uh, I think that's my strength. And if you put passion into something, I think you can do almost everything. And on the flip side, this passion can make me a little bit too arrogant or maybe I don't want to listen to people because I think it's right and I think that's the bad part about myself. And my first customer, I buy a battery for 100 bucks, I sell for 200 bucks. Wow, that's a crazy profit, right? That's a crazy thing, you know. My first customer, when I actually got the money, she did this. Oh, yo, boy, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that to me is, is like, wow. You know, where do people give money and say, thank you so much, right? Personally, growing up, uh, when we always write, you know, chita chita, it was always, you know, businessman. So actually, I'm an ex-accountant. Uh, when I had the opportunity to actually start a business, I just took it and grabbed it because uh, it's something that I want to do. And it's, I'm not ready to give it up yet. So uh, here I am after four years. Yep, kaput is a German word, actually. Yep. Uh, you know, for car breakdown. Broken. Yeah, so broken. if I give a phone call, yep. what happens next? Um, in about 22 seconds, someone will pick up, uh, we'll get your details and then we'll push you an SMS, and the SMS will say, download the app to track your technician. And that's how we onboard people to get on our app. All right, and how do I make the payment for the service, whatever? Uh, you, we are flexible, so we're in Malaysia, cash is always very friendly, uh, but we also carry a credit card terminal. Okay, so you pay directly to the subcontractor or to the technician who Correct. comes to Correct. rescue you. And then we consolidate every day. Uh, I don't think my eyes are on a grand prize. I think it's about the experience. I think it's about the uh, knowing who the big shots are. You know, we never really had any doors open for us. So uh, I think this is a really good opportunity for us. How, how much is your own staff doing the work? 85% uh, is our own staff. And 15% uh, subcontractors, mostly in Penang, Johor, Seremban. And, uh, we so didn't... how much stock must we keep? We, we keep about three weeks stock because our store is very small. We are in a car park lot in 32 Square and PJ. We have to manually carry the batteries every few days. Uh, but we keep about three weeks stock. When you go to a subcontractor, what's the deal What's like? the deal? They have to buy the batteries from us. So we make a margin there, and then we, su we supply them the leads as well. OK. OK, thank you very much. Great. Thank, thank you. Thanks, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I'm Mandy Leong. I'm the founder of Krizam Malaysia Sunan Berhad. So I have started this company since uh, 2014. So we are the local made product. Our vision is to become the leading halal beauty brands in Southeast Asia. I got involved in this industry for nine years. So I started my business in night market last time. So after two years, I started wholesale. So all the way I'm in cosmetic. So my slogan is Appa Bole Joy Joy La. So at that time, I actually I sell everything. So uh, whatever can make money, so I sell. How do you transform yourself from wholesale business then wanting to create your own brand? Okay, that time actually when I was doing um, wholesale business, right? So um, I expanded very fast and I just realized that, that I'm doing a trading business. So it's quite easy for me uh, because I'm quite of, uh, kind of like very good in calculations. So we can see that uh, what is the trend right now, what is the products are sellable, so we just sell. So I can make money from that. So I got the fund already. Afterwards, I start my shop in KL. So that's my first move from Penang to KL. We are targeted to the halal Muslim consumers. Yeah, so all our products are actually basically we are OEM in the halal certified factories. We actually, we found out that in Southeast Asia, there are so many Muslim consumers and especially the women, they are actually demanding on the halal certified products. We started in Malaysia is because we found out that Malaysians are the ones who are daring to actually try on the new products and also the new colour cosmetics with the safe ingredients. We have two categories. One is colour cosmetic and one is skincare. Basically, now we have more than 1,532 point of sales nationwide. Why do you need to increase SKUs? Is that why do you see that as important for the business, to grow the business? Oh, yes. All right. Why can't you just have more distribution points? That's the important is that we need to increase our product range to have the recurring sales. The second thing is we need to reach out to the new users. And also the third thing is that we need to get more space. 
Okay, Mindy, well done. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Well done, well done, well done. Everything has happened in such a short time and I was pregnant. No, I put on hold first. Yeah. Sell this yeah. first. Make a name even for Malaysia, I think. I'm Karen and I'm the founder of Osprey Natural and I'm also a busy modern mom with two lovely daughters and I love doing business, I love challenge and I, I have a, this very great passion on the things that I do. When I was pregnant with my second child, my father-in-law was diagnosed with cancer and he was passed away three months after that, pancreatic cancer, third stage. And he was only 62 years old, okay? and. Upon diagnosis, he passed away three months. It's like everything has happened in such a short time and I was pregnant. And he didn't drink, he didn't smoke. He seemed healthy, you know, it's like three months ago, he was still a healthy, healthy man. So it triggers me to find out that actually uh, what we use on our body daily is actually will bring an impact on your health. Ever since that incident, I become very conscious about what I use on my baby. So I've done many research in the market of the products and realised that there are many products in the market are not all they claim. And therefore, I decided to create my own product for the best of my babies and for the rest of the babies. Therefore, offspring journey has begun. Previously, I was from a fashion industry. I noticed something in the baby industry. That is why I want to make it right. I want to create the best product for the people and I appreciate transparent products. Allspring Natural offers mindfully made all natural family essentials conveniently delivered to your doorstep every month. Currently, we, have, we are offering the baby products which covering the diapers, wipes and toiletries. And recently, we just launched our baby household product. And very soon, we are going to move forward to launch our family range which covers four years old toddlers to adulthood. And also, all these are uh, we formulated and we have owned our IP formulation ourselves. How do you deliver? Because you're delivering bulky packages. How do you do that? We deliver via courier. Yeah. At the very beginning stage when we first started, right, logistics was a big problem for us. Because um, when you don't have the volume, you can't talk to the logistic. We actually, um, to build up the volume, then we, we said, okay, we will, we will just take um, 30 ringgit flat rate in terms of postage. If a successful woman should have, should be able to juggle both, she should be able to manage her business well, at the same time, she should be a good mom and a wife in the home. That's success for me. Before that, you were doing online clothing. Yeah, fashion clothing. And anything else? I mean, because it's a huge commitment. You made a huge money and time commitment. We were a corporate employee for like a few years. After our first child, that was the time that she actually came out and do uh, online fashion, right? So that business lasted for um, three, three plus years, uh, but she was good at locating all this uh, supplier and all these things, you know? It's like something, something is, in, is like in her gene, you know? She can easily, she can build chemistry and, and it's, just, it's just her. I just have I, I can't do that. Things. You know? We already have the shortlisted Manufacturer. manufacturer, all these contract manufacturer is already there. And in fact, we have all the samples and everything is, 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 is here already, you know. Yeah. So I just pending for the funding to kickstart and then we... Yeah, because every time I wanted to start the same new product, the new product, he would say, no, put on hold first, sell this first. Yeah. Well, I think I, you, you, your, your commitment is amazing. And, and we really hope that you'll be extremely successful. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for the late, right. late, late show. Time to go back to your two kids. Huh? <laughs>Now the deliberations begin. The judges will have to select the top 12 out of the 40 that will go through to the Alliance Bismarck Challenge. This is the one I want to uh, keep. And why? 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 Because I think that there's some gaps in parts of their business model, but they definitely have a big chunk and especially what they're looking to do going forward, they've already started, is very viable. So I, I really like these guys. 
The only flaw here is that this, they've been around for a long, long time and still no traction. Yeah, I disagree with you because they actually have traction, not economic enough on their homegrown turf, but I think what they're starting to do now, and given the fact that they have a lot of clients you know, coming up, they'll be fine. So if that's the criteria point they use, uh -huh. Then it has to be applied consistently across every no, one no, of no, those. I, I, I'm sorry. You want to compare apple to apple. Huh? Number one, the ticket value of each item. Number two, they each have their own market share. My choice is this one. Young man who is not there yet, a bit lost, trying to find his path. This is the kind of guy that one day will do very, very well. In terms of spirit, that's it. So, I, this guy. Just off the our sort of kind of like guaranteed list, um, I think they've ramped up their revenues very very quickly. I think this is one of those possible if they have a bit of a break with some of their overseas expansion. I think they can go really really far and make a name even for Malaysia. I think you know if they can get the right break. I think I agree with you. I think that they 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 will be viable. I, I don't think there's an issue. I worry that it's, it's really not very original. The product can sometimes be viewed as a little bit of a scam by, by the end client. Even this one, for example, even this, for example, yeah. is easily copied. Where is the, uh, the, the criteria? Enthusiasm, entrepreneurship, hardworking, and how we get traction and so forth. But if they get the uh, formula right, yeah. patent it properly, they have a chance. No, they have a chance. They'll make it. But, uh... Okay, then we are done then. We're done. Right, thank oh, you. Fantastic. All right, so um, hope we... Um, good job. Yeah. Hope we, they get good good training. And uh, you know, things. I think it's done. Okay, fantastic. Well, one more. Right. right. Following the pitch sessions, the participants were given a week-long training session from some of Malaysia's best business coaches. These sessions range in topics from presentation skills, talent management, and business growth strategy. Tune in next week to find out who have made it through to the top 12 and tune into every episode as the top 12 are put through their paces in real-world business challenges to find the next winner of the Alliance Bank Bismarck Challenge. So now, each team has 30 minutes to discuss and strategize. Where they really have lots of fun. I love it. It's fun. This is the best. But we have to make a decision. And two of you will go home.